ZI Constraint is a tool for snapping geometry components to a mesh surface or curve. In other words, the source components will be snapped to the target geometry. It has several purposes from modeling to animation. I'm going to show the main functionalities available through the interface. Please make sure that the plugin is correctly loaded within the plugin manager. Launch the interface with these few lines of code. You may want to add them to your menu or shortcut. The first icon at the top will apply the default Maya's panel colors. Otherwise, you'll have a dark theme. The second will hide or show the window frame. Please note that you can move the window by dragging with the middle mouse button and scaling by dragging with the right mouse button. Please choose whether you need to constrain locally or not. Verbose option will log more or less information in the console. Tolerance determines the ray search distance for the sake of accuracy. The source is the object or portion of object which will be modified to fit a geometry which we call the target. The target geometry can be set by selecting the geometry then clicking on the rabbit on the left. The same for source geometry with the rabbit on the right. Feel free to select these objects by clicking on their names in the interface. It can be handy to set the target geometry as a reference so you can easily select the overlap source components. Just click for the reference button above. The transfer button will snap the selected components depending on the specified mode. For now, it's on face mode. I've selected vertices, but it could have been edges or any sort of mesh components. If the selection is empty, the entire mesh will be snapped. You can do the same process, but with the closest target vertices with the vertex mode set. As you can see, the points shared the same position, which stands for the closest target point. The order mode gets the same idea, but with corresponding index. This greatly helps for blend shapes and such. You have many so possibilities, so your imagination is the limit. We've seen the snap functionalities, but we can also permanently constrain the geometries by clicking the toggle button connect. This is due to the creation of the Maya's node, which reevaluates the input geometries in real time. You can manually tweak the ZI constraints connections as needed. This can be a powerful feature to make retropology or animated deformation, for instance. Click again the toggle button connect. It will disconnect and delete the ZI constraint node. The geometries now behave independently. Here we have a pretty big scene. If I take the cube in the middle as a scale reference, each of its face is a one unit size. Having that in consideration, we could say that the heads are oversized. Let's say we have to constrain them some way. For this kind of scenario, you may probably need to adjust the attribute of the Xi constraint node. Here we get the threshold attribute. To fix that, just increase its value. Keep its value the lowest as possible since it will lose accuracy. A powerful custom hardware shader is shipped with this tool. It's pretty convenient when several meshes overlap so you can have a better visualization. Just click to this button so the shader gets created and applied to this source mesh or create it manually with Hypershade. At any time the mesh will be with the shader on top of other geometries of the scene. By doing so, we keep an eye on the surface details. It has several customizable attributes outputs. Feel free to change the thickness of the wireframe. The same for the color of the surface like you would do with a regular shader. Likewise for the opacity, furthermore the wireframe color can also be modified as you need. Geometries can be snapped on curve as well. This would greatly help for hard surface modeling tasks. Set this curve as a target as explained before. The tool detects automatically the nature of the target object. You can notice a new set of modules available, constant and even. Select the source components to snap them on the specified curve. The process is similar as before. Click transfer and voila. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for updates and please visit the website.